BFIT Nation, welcome to a special Friday edition of our BFIT Live. Along with TRX Training, we have a special instructor, coach, educator, all around a great TRX individual coming to us, Miguel Vargas. How are you doing, Miguel? Hey, what's up, BFIT Nation? Uh, I am so excited to be here with you all. As Roy said, my name is Miguel Vargas. I'm a TRX coach and master instructor, and so excited about spending the next several minutes, 30, 45 minutes with you all. So let's get cracking. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So Miguel, with that, can you tell us a little bit about your background with TRX, your involvement with the team? I know you said master instructor. As I browse the TRX online platform, I see you, your name, your face with maybe some different hair on there, but nonetheless, still you uh, and, and great information with TRX. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your involvement with TRX? Yeah, I did. I did go back to the uh, the cut. I wanted I wanted the haircut to match the uh, the <laughs> the headshot that we had for the call. Uh, just, just kidding. So, uh, yeah, I've been with TRX since 2010 and it has been quite a journey. Uh, I've been an athlete my whole life, football, basketball, baseball, but really excelled in swimming in high school and college. And after that kind of graduated from college, went to figure out what I was going to do and spent you know, the better part of, you know, eight or nine years, just figuring it out, different jobs, different industries. And in 2010, you know, wanted to get into the fitness industry and I wanted to really be a part of something that I knew was going to be bigger than myself. And it literally fell into my lap. Uh, TRX was a company that was, you know, the, the, the office was literally three blocks from my home and I'd seen the the product and I've, I, I've experienced it firsthand. And when it started, it literally started as a job and who knew that almost, you know, over a decade later, it turned into a career and a, you know, experience that I, I wouldn't trade for anything. And man, you know, where to start? I started off as the general manager of our fitness studio, just working with Gen Pop coming in, trying to get, now you got to go back to 2010 when people didn't really know what suspension training was or these TRX straps. So I was literally the guy on the sidewalk watching uh, people come by and say, you got to come in and you got to try this class. And they're like, no. Uh, and then just to give you some preface, I was a bodybuilder at the time. So, you know, big, you know, muscle bound guy trying to speak there. And they're like, I don't want to look like that by working out. I'm like, no, you don't understand. And, um, and it was really funny. So I spent, you know, two, two and a half years in that part of just r running the training center I got into teaching classes eventually, and honestly, that's where the game changed for me. Just being in front of the group of people, literally working with new individuals every day because, again, with the TRX suspension training idea being fairly new in 2010, 11, 12, every opportunity that you had with someone was an opportunity to get somebody excited about it. And so I spent several years just in the studio. I mean, I whenever I teach courses, I, I talk to some folks and just give you an idea of how much time I've spent on the suspension trainer teaching classes in one year. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've taught over 800 hours of classes in one year. So if you do the math, that's, that's quite a lot of TRXing. And then fast forward up to 2014 and 15, uh, I was looking for a little bit more and the opportunity came up to be a part of the education and training team. And with that, I was able to become an instructor teaching our suspension training course, our functional training course, our group training course. And that, you know, went on and on and on. And, and it's been just a, a really exciting journey because now as a part of the education and training team, I work with a really awesome group of folks that help develop the content, help upskill and train the trainers that are going out to the studios and the facilities and the bases to be able to teach these, I call them coaches and athletes to just help them take their training to the next level because TRX is more than just a product. It's all about the movement and the education behind it. And if you're not learning, you're not growing. And that's the biggest thing that I want to relay for today's message with all of the athletes out there that, you know, it's not just about the product. It's how we can use it to, you know, kind of 
create our best athletes and and go from there. So I think that's a, I, I think I, I, I told you earlier, I, I'm working on my short answer. But, but no, I, I love answer. the extensive answers. I do. I mean, I think it, it's, you're able to encapsulate just so much more uh, depth and breadth of, of what you have to offer from yourself, from a personal level, from an educator, from an instructor, the master training side, and overall, you know, just your journey from uh, the bodybuilding kind of uh, persona to the all around trainer that that it, I mean, that you bring to the table, it seems like what you are right now. So speaking on just the training, the training side and, and just looking at your own uh, home gym, if I may, I, I believe it looks like a home gym here. It looks like a studio gym to me. It, it looks like we are both in a in a studio gym. <laughs> but um, I, I see so much equipment behind you. I see the TRX suspension trainers behind you. For those who may not know, for those viewing who, who may not know what a suspension trainer is, specifically from TRX, what is what is a suspension trainer? All right, so what is a suspension trainer? I've got one hanging behind me here, and it's 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 a it's what is it, it right? And so <laughs> this is our suspension trainer. It started by you know created by Randy Hedrick, former Navy SEAL. And when we talk about suspension training, we're thinking we're talking about a single anchor point, and that's proprietary to TRX. So you may have seen some other tools that have dual anchor points, but you're going to have this single anchor point from the top. From here, we've got this. We call this the this is a locking loop, but we've got the equalizer loop here that creates this instability that you have when you're training. So what that means is when you're working from the single anchor point. It gives you the opportunity to train in 360 degrees, uh, but if we're training off a door, that's something else that we'll talk about a little bit later. But when we get into this equalizer loop and the locking loop, this gives us the opportunity that, that when we're doing an exercise, for instance, we're doing something like a chest press, right? All of your typical your typical exercises you're gonna be um, you know, on a bench or, or whatever the case may be, this now you have to fight that instability as you're doing that and so one of our favorite things at trx is we are all core all the time and so when you have your hands in you when you have your hands or feet in the foot cradles or on the handles you've got one or two points of contact on the ground and that's just giving you the opportunity to really take your training to the next level so like you said i've got tons of equipment in my in my garage, I've, you, you know, and you can do bench pressing, dumbbell pressing, and any of those other things. But when it comes to the suspension trainer, we're going to hit you with strength. We're going to hit you with mobility. We're going to hit you with flexibility. So it's not just a one-stop shop when you think about your training. It's how do we, you know, get the most, get get the best bang for your buck, if you will. You know, how can we get everything that you need in a short amount of time with as little space and equipment as possible? Agreed. And I think it's it's worth noting um, just one key benefit on the portability. Now, I know you mentioned between you and I on how when you travel, you kind of uh, it's it's such a great unit to take. It's an all in one unit. You um, you, you you kind of showcase this, the, the, the bag, the, the sack that the suspension trainer comes in and you just kind of you throw it, you throw it in the, in the bag, you throw it in your duffel, if you will. And it's just right off right from there. You can travel anywhere with it. And I think that's a key benefit, especially during this holiday season that we're at right now, right? Uh, we're coming off of uh, in between two or maybe three major holidays, right? So uh, <laughs> portability, uh, speak speak on portability. I mean, how, I mean, and, and I know we were talking right. about the, the door uh, option with us and, and I, I don't know if this is in your bag, but when I open this up, I go, what, what is, what is this? And I thought it was just, I thought it was just genius on this piece of equipment that I, I'm not sure if it's in your bag yet, but, uh, it's it's i mean i was like th this can be used any and everywhere <laughs> if, and those who who may not know it, it is the door anchor the door anchor uh you just in the door right here here's your anchor point and you're off and going and and, and being active with a suspension trainer so here we go so this this is your trx suspension training this is your gym in a bag essentially and whenever i travel for vacation or if i'm on a work trip i know that this is all that I need to have in my bag to be, to just maintain my, my level of fitness. And so for those of you that are also opening your TRX for the first time, join me here. So like Roy was saying, 
you've got your your door anchor and when we use the door anchor this this is all you need right and so this is the part and so if you're wondering how the door anchor works if you open the door you want to throw it over the top and then we shut that you want to make sure I mean, it'd be great that if, if the door were to go in the opposite direction, but you just want to make sure that if you are working off the door, you lock that guy. Now, next up, we have the suspension trainer. So again, fold it up, rolled up right there. So if I'm working off a door, I can still, I can still have the same great workout that I would if I were working off an overhead anchor point. And so I think this is one of the best things that I enjoy about this, I travel, I've got four things in my bag. I think four things. I've got my suspension trainer, I've got my door anchor, I've got a jump rope, and I've got a strength band, and I've got maybe a mini band, but more so the strength band than anything. And those four things are going to keep me busy, right? They're going to keep me, um, I'll, I'll be able to get a nice little sweat, whether it's in the hotel room or taking it down to the hotel gym, or, or if it's nice outside, I'm going to take my training outside. And that's Another one of the, the great things is you don't have to keep your training inside. Like Roy said, we could take our, our fitness anywhere with this product. Absolutely. So I know you, we touched on a lot of great benefits, the portability. Uh, for those who may be kind of adding this piece of equipment to, you know, some of the, the gym pieces of equipment, it, do, it, it goes without saying that a lot of the great movements that we do in a gym setting with huge pieces of equipment, right? That, that we need to kind of travel somewhere and, and go to a specific location to use these big pieces of equipment, whether it's a bench or a chest press or, uh, you know, pull up bars or things like that, pulling movements. Um, we can achieve the same type of uh, targeted muscle groups and push pull movements with the suspension trainer plus a lot more uh, activation with on all core all the time type of movements. <laughs> Correct. So when you think about the, the training aspect behind it, when we're programming or things like that, with our education, our big conversation is we want to introduce you to our foundational movements. So we've got seven of them that we just seven. There's another number on there. Uh, everything starts with the point. And then after that, we want to introduce you to the pull. We, we, we personally believe that the TRX suspension trainer is the best piece of pulling equipment on the market for your home training. If I can teach you to pull, then I can teach you to push. Now, if you put a push and pull together, that, that means you can rotate. So that's thinking about your upper body. And then we move down to the lower body, starting from that plank. If I can teach you to plank, I can then teach you to hinge at the hips. If I can teach you to hinge at the hips, I can teach you to squat. If I can teach you to hinge and squat, eventually we're gonna move on to lunging. So that leads us into our seven foundational movements, which means you can get a well-rounded program put together with the suspension trainer. Obviously, when you put your time into it, but you know, fortunate enough for you, we've got some great part programming already that's available for you to take advantage of you. To take advantage for you, sorry, not of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, challenging, right? We, we can we can challenge our workouts, so we'll we'll take advantage of your effort, right? You give us all of your effort within the TRX suspension training, and we will, uh, you know, you will you will see results just like anything. Um, so with those key benefits and suspension training, is are we able? Is how about our fitness levels, right? I know we can tailor our workouts to any fitness level, and and just like a few like viewers that may have the suspension trainer for the first time. And maybe thinking, you know, is, is this piece of equipment, is this, is it, is it used for, it, can it be used for any fitness level, right? The, the best way for me to answer that is TRX is for any body. So if you want to move and you want to move better, the suspension trainer is going to be a great tool for you, no matter what fitness level you are. So if you're injured, if you're elite athlete, if you are a first responder, if you are in the military, if you're, if you're looking to move better this is going to meet you my favorite saying of all when i'm coaching is we want to meet you where you're at to take you where you need to go so when you think about it from that standpoint any athlete can find the value in the suspension trainer when it's worked in properly into their training program if this is the only piece of equipment that you have awesome if you've got a full gym like this probably you're going to find an opportunity the way to weave it into your programming somehow to again take your training to the next level so 
it's it's not the end all be all, but it's definitely a tool that you want to have in your program just to work on the things like strength, stability, mobility, flexibility, and things like that. Absolutely. And I think that's so key to highlight not only the, the strength piece that, that people may uh, see by by just by viewing demonstrations of the uh, suspension trainer, but also like you're saying, the mobility, taking the time to really work on the range of motion uh, within your body, the flexibility, right? Sitting in specific um, positions or movements to really focus on that flexibility and that stretch to have better range of motion uh, to kind of uh, the, the looking at the longevity of our bodies, right? Every body um, um, can be active and, and, and can can move in certain ways. So we can really benefit from utilizing a, a suspension trainer like this. Um, let's talk about the ability to train for uh, some of our viewers on, they may have a PT test coming up or the ACFT, the Army Combat Fitness Test coming up. <laughs> um, any Anywhere, uh, you know, it's 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 a great piece of 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 tool to to really utilize to train for the P, your PT test or your ACFT coming up. Um, thoughts on thoughts on uh, give me share, share some of that insight with us. No, for sure. Um, so we have a really great training program. It's called the TRX Training Club, and within that, it's it's a, it's almost a triple threat. Not almost, it is a triple threat. So we've got live trait, we've got live classes that you can take, you know, based off the schedule. Then we have on-demand classes that are curated by some of the best coaches in the industry. And then we've got some targeted programs. And so what we're trying to do in that training app is we want to talk to the military folks, the first responders who are actually training for something like their ACFT. And, you know, just to talk about that specifically, we just launched this program in the app. And I have to say, I got to give a shout out to Zach Van Wagner because he did all of the heavy lifting on this one when, you know, his office was like a beautiful mind when we put the program together. And, you know, between him and the team of folks that came together on what the ask was, what the need was, and what the equipment available was to create something where we want to say, this is gonna help you get closer to achieving your best results on that test, right? And in addition to that, if you're not training for the ACFT and you just want to get better for some other type of challenge or fitness test that you're going after, this is going to be able to support you. Then if that's not your deal, if you just want to come on, you want to work with an instructor that's super high, that's super motivated and entertaining, you check out the live classes and the on-demand classes on there because that's going to, again, it's still going to work you hard. It's still going to focus on everything that you need as an athlete to get better. It's just going to be a different way to have that experience for you. And I think that's one of the awesome things about the TRX Training Club uh, app, because we've got so many instructors that are based all over the world and so many different types of personalities, right? So whether you're the military or first responder or the spouse of a military or first responder, right? Like not everybody's training for that big thing or big event. Some people just wanna train for the day, right? They wanna train to be a better parent at home. They wanna train to be a better dog parent at home to keep up with those animals on those runs and walks. And so we wanna make sure that we're trying to be the best we can for everybody out there that wants to train. Absolutely, everybody. And I have a comment on a viewer here from Shelly who said she just picked up her suspension training, uh, TRX suspension trainer, and she is excited to use it today and from here on out to incorporate it into her workout. So Shelly, thank you so much for that comment. And uh, we sincerely hope you enjoyed and join us, join with us uh, momentarily. I think that's a great uh, opportunity here to kind of <clears throat> transition here. We can, we can, uh, within the trainer, you can modify, you can you can progress on specific movements. You can you can regress or, or uh, you know change different movements into uh, wherever your fitness level is, depending on 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 where you are in life right now. So with that, do you want to uh, show a few examples of some TRX? I know I, I have mine right behind me, and I have some few samples or some few products as well. So um, again, thank you, TRX. And just a, a note here that all of the products here are suspension training. You can also find on shopmyexchange.com. Uh, so there's also a link in this Facebook 
uh, post as well that you can track and click through. That'll take you directly to our TRX specific landing page where uh, you're able to shop a, spe a specific trainer that's right for you. But with that, Miguel, you wanna, let's jump into some demonstrations and see uh, just how yeah, this trainer so works. Yeah, so I think, I think one of the most important things is that when, when you eventually get this suspension trainer out of the bag and it's hanging up, we want to make sure that a couple things are set up appropriately so that when you, the athlete, start using this, it's set up for success, right? So if you're working off a door anchor, the height of the door is the height of the door. We can't adjust that. We can't put a new door in. But ideally, when you're going to use something to anchor your suspension trainer from, you want to make sure it's ideally seven to nine feet high. And when the anchor is seven to nine feet high for uh, an overhead anchor point, that's going to give you the opportunity to use the suspension anchor to roll it around a couple times, loop it around to be able to set it up for the optimal height. Because when your suspension trainer is at the optimal height, then you have the optimal experience when you're training. Now, one thing we want to do is we want to make sure that when you're doing this, we get the anchor set up. And I, I just wanted to show you really quickly on how easy it is. I've got a bunch of things here. So I've got my anchor here and I'm going to show you on, if you, if you've got a pull up bar, can you guys see the bar over here on my end? Mm -hmm. I'm taking over just a bit more. Boom. All right. So when you're going to do this, and this is a little trick that I've kind of practiced for a while, you want to make sure that when you set up the anchor, you put the, the carabiner into the bottom most loop of the strap, right? You're going to see these other notches. These are not load bearing notches, but the bottom one, that's where you want to have it. Then this triangle area at the top that's the equalizer loop and we want to make sure that the equalizer loop hangs at about six feet high so when i do that i'll just have it right here at six feet now i'll just take this over a couple times always want to make sure the trx is facing out especially when you start posting those instagram videos and then from here i'll just come around <laughs> And then I will loop it into that bottom notch, and there I go. Now, the reason that I want to have it at that height is because when I fully lengthen the straps, I want my handles about three to six inches off the ground. So here, my straps are fully lengthened, and they're three to six inches off the ground. The reason for that is when we're doing a chest press underneath the anchor point, we don't want to scrape our knuckles on the ground. And... Right. When the straps are fully shortened, for instance, if my anchor was hanging too low and I wanted to get directly below the anchor point for an exercise, I'm not going to be allowed. I'm not going to be able to do that because, again, it's not hanging from the right height. So when you start correctly, you can train correctly. So first and foremost, making sure we've got it set up at the optimal height. The next thing I want to do really quickly, and, and Roy, you could join me for this one now, is we're going to go through how Absolutely. to adjust the straps. And so I see that your straps are fully shortened. So are mine. You've got these barrels down on the bottom here, and I think I can come across a little bit. So these two cam buckles or barrels at the bottom, I want you to, right now, they're vertical. So when they're vertical, that means the straps are not going anywhere. But if you take two thumbs on the barrels, pull them so that they're horizontal. And at the same time, if you do one of these, they should come right down. There we are. <laughs> and it makes that cool sound. So if <laughs> you make like that, that cool sound, you know you're doing it correctly. Now, when the straps are fully lengthened, why don't you turn around and face away from the anchor point with me. And let's knock out like a five chest presses here. They kind of looks like a push up, but it's, we're, it's a TRX chest press. Straps are over are. the shoulder. Why don't, you, why don't you take a medium Probably. angle here? We're just going to do five. So knock out one, two, three, four, five. There we are. So pretty nice. simple, right? So now what I want you to do is I want you to bring your feet together. So toes, your big toes are touching and you're standing on your tippy toes. Copy. N nice. Let's see five more from that position right there. Let's see how that feels. 
Now, if you notice that the well, straps are touching your 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 arms a little bit, just raise mm -hmm. the hands up a little bit, just so that they're not rubbing. Ah, I see. Stack them over our shoulders here. Uh, removes the the interference of the bands, and you are not you are we are not playing when we say core all core all the time. Even on our toes right now, uh, you can feel your so, core activating and engaging. So we went. We started off with a shoulder width stance. Then we went to a narrow stance. Now what I want you to do is try to bring one knee up to your waist. So feet together, and then bring one knee up to your waist. So we didn't change your position. Let's let's see if you could do five more from that position right there. All right. Without wobbling around like a flag in the wind. <laughs> right, right, right. All core, all the time, and that instability of raising that one leg and pivoting and just having one point on the floor here. You are uh, activated from 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 head all the way down to that toe. <laughs> that's on the floor right now. So this is one of nice. our levels of progression. We, we call that the stability principle. So if you start mm -hmm. with an offset stance, that front foot's almost like a kickstand. Then if we want to make it a little right. bit easier, we come back mm -hmm. to a wider base of support. The feet come closer together. And then when we really want to challenge ourselves, we take one foot off the ground. And that's going to challenge us just from that, like I said, from that stability standpoint. Now, I want you to take the straps all the way up again, so we're gonna go fully shortened. So you grab onto that adjustment tab, pull it all the way up. Same thing on the other side. There we are. So now the straps are fully shortened. Whenever they're in this position, we wanna do all of our pulling exercises because again, it allows us to go underneath the anchor point. Now, what I'd like you to, what I'd like you to do now is we're gonna do a row. So from in, I'd say like a moderate angle. We're going to stand face. Let's say 45 degrees. Let's knock out five rows. Okay. Feet can be shoulder width apart, narrow. You choose. Just dig those heels into the ground. Keep your chest tall. Nicely done. And then when you're done, nice. hold your hands at your ribs. And then I want you to take a step closer to the anchor point. So we're just gonna, from here, we're just gonna take another step closer to the anchor point and then we're gonna knock out uh -huh. another five. There we go. And after that, we're gonna take another step closer, but we're only gonna do three, but I want you to take a bigger step closer. <laughs> All right, we are inverted team. We are inverted here. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Lats, All right, so now I want you to take back. three big steps back, three steps back, three big steps back, even further away than when we started. So stand okay, up and then just give me that easy down. angle for five reps. All right. This pyramid of progression is really telling my body, all right, we're working. I see we're working. Miguel showed up so today. So this goes back to the... <laughs> This goes back to the any body principle, right? If you're just starting out and you don't have the strength to support your body weight, you do that TRX row from an easy angle. Then if you want to step it up and make it a little bit harder, you start to walk the feet closer to the anchor point and that's going to increase your vector. And so when we talk about vector, mm -hmm. that's our second principle of progression. Now, we like to say you don't have to stop. You shouldn't have to stop when you're training because if you're working for 40 seconds and you're at the angle that's too low, all you do is walk back and take it away. It's like if you're on a bike, right? If you're on a spin bike, right. too much resistance on that bike, you just crank it back a little bit, you slow it down, you make it a little bit easier for you to be successful. Now I want you to take your straps to mid-length. So you'll notice that on the suspension trainer, there's a gray and a black line on there. Mm -hmm. You might have a suspension trainer that has two stripes in the middle. That's the mid-length as well. And... Yeah. My, my camo does not have a stripe in the middle. But when I'm talking about mid length, the handles, we're just referencing, we're referencing the, the lines in the middle, the, the black and the yellow. Now from here, this is, this is what I like to call the, um, the oh, oh darn it, I had the name on the tip of my tongue, but it's the utility knife where you could do almost all the exercises from here, if you're right. if you're in a gym, but 
for now, we're just going to go through a standing exercise. And so when we think about the squat, right, or the lunge, mm -hmm. you can load or unload as much as you want when, when you're doing this. And so I want to take you through the lunge really quickly. So my elbows are stacked under my shoulders. We're going to take one step back with the right knee and then bring the knee up. So we're going to do, let's do five of those. Nice. Pretty simple, right? Good. So Absolutely. now what I want and you to do the... is, mm -hmm. oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, I just right off the bat, you can tell how even if you had, let's say, an imbalance on that reverse lunge, having the suspension trainer here with you to guide you on the way down and then on the way up through uh, your heels. I mean, it just benefits alone right there. So <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead, Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> so now, now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the pace. So from we're going to start with that knee down on the ground and we're going to go up and then tap, up and tap. So let's see five of those. All right. So now... We went from a basic step back lunge. Now we added a little bit of a hop to it. Now my favorite is when you yes, bring sir. that knee back to the top. When you go back into that lunge, try not to let your knee or your toe touch the ground and then drive back up. So elbows are stacked okay. into the shoulders, tension on the straps, reverse mm -hmm. lunge, but now that back knee is suspended. So we want to treat, try, try to keep our torso up. Ah, Woo. there it is. <laughs> loading up that front leg really activating right. that glute that quad on your uh rear leg balance core all the time yes so again when we're talking about like how we want to challenge our athletes we can go slow with the step back we can go fast with the explosiveness and then we can go into unstable conditions when we add that balance aspect to it so now I want to introduce you to what you see a lot of the time. We're going to go down to the ground. But before we do that, we have to adjust the straps to what we call mid-calf. Mid-calf okay. is when the rubber handles come down to your knees. So rubber handles come down to your knees and they make a, and the foot cradle, that's this part, is going to make a little circle around your shin. Now really quickly, for those of you that are watching that may not have a size 13 Shoe, you've got these adjustable <laughs> foot cradles. You've got these adjustable foot cradles, and you just need to take them in a little bit just to make sure that your toes, your heels are not popping through when we're doing some exercises. Mm -hmm. So there's two, okay. two ways we'll, we'll have our feet in the straps. We're either going to be supine or we're going to be prone. So the first thing I want to do is to start off on the ground, and we're going to take a seat with our feet underneath the, the foot cradles. Now I'm going to try to All talk right. you through this as best I can, so you don't have to worry about the screen. So from here, I want you to put two fingers into the foot cradles. So those are the loops on the bottom. You're going to open it up like a tree. And then you're just going to come onto your back, bring your knees to your waist, and then place your heels over the two fingers, and then extend the legs. So open it up like a tree, knees to your waist, Copy. drop the heels in. And I promise you, this is the easiest way you're going to do this. So now that you've got this, <laughs> the foot cradles, now that you've got your heels in the foot cradles, we're just going to do a little uh, hamstring curl and a, and a hamstring runner. So apply pressure evenly All on right. both of those foot cradles. Pick your butt up off the ground. Bring your knees to the waist. Hold for a second and then extend the legs. We're going to do, we'll do three reps of that. Let me see what those look like. Now we All start right. to feel those hamstrings waking up. They are talking. All right, yes, so are. now what I want you to do is I want you to scoot back a couple inches away from the from your anchor point. So just scoot back, scoot back like six inches or so. <laughs> All right. Now when you pick your hips up, I want you to bring the knees to your waist and try to do those same three reps and see if that got harder or easier. Well, we're definitely getting harder on this movement. <laughs> <laughs> So as you, when you're on the ground and you're moving further away from the anchor point, you're going to, we call this the pendulum principle. So this is our third principle of progression. And the further away you are from the anchor point, it's pulling you back in that pendulum fashion. So that's going to challenge you. 
So from here, mm -hmm. I want you to scoot back to that, that position with your feet underneath the anchor point. We call this neutral. Now what I want okay. you to do is I want you to pop the hips up off the ground, and we're going to try to go slowly one at a time. Right leg, switch, left leg, switch. We're going to do a T-Rex hamstring runner just to see how that feels. Now, you're probably noticing that your feet are bouncing up and down, right? Right, so right, right. So I want you to reset and apply even pressure into both of those foot cradles. And as you're pulling ah, with the okay. right leg, you have to apply even pressure to the left. And that there it is. goes into that instability principle. So the more unstable we are, the harder we have to work. So the inst so another saying that we have, and we have no shortage of sayings at TRX, the instability <laughs> Wait, of the suspension agree. trainer creates stability within your core as you're training. Good. So now take a look. I want you to pull the knees to the waist, take the heels out. And so now we're going to hold the foot cradles up just like this, like smelly socks. And then so again, we're going to come onto our back. So we're just going to hold the foot cradles up like, like so. All right. Then we're going to come onto our back and we're going to drop the foot cradles over the toes. And we're going to keep our feet flexed, knees over the waist, and we're going to roll onto our belly. <laughs> yeah. That, that, All right. that laugh is because you, you know what's coming up next. I do. So we're here. We're going to put them on like socks. So you want to just drop them over the top and then keep the feet flexed, keep your knees bent, and then roll to the side. <laughs> All right. There we go. There we are, right on the top of our uh, so now our laces here. Yeah. So one first and foremost, if you can kind of just sit back in this position like this. If you've got tight quads, I've been doing a little more running than I typically do, and my quads are feeling mm -hmm. it. And I don't know about you, you can feel that nice little quad stretch right there. Oh, same so here. First quads, the hip flexors really open up our hips initially, just yeah. right off of this position. So. When we think about the, the ground-based plank from here, you want to make sure that you are always driving your heels into the foot cradles. So if you take a look, mm -hmm. I'm extending my leg. I'm pushing my heel back. So I like to like baby step folks into this. So the first thing I want to do is make sure those hands are underneath my chest. Imagine you're juicing oranges with your armpits. Press one mm -hmm. leg back. So now we're already halfway into that plank position. From here, engage those abs, squeeze those legs, press the other one up, and then just give me a five-second plank. Sure. See how that feels for three, two, and rest. Nice. Good. So now we're going to do it again. This time we're going to start with the other leg. Up. Now okay. if you want to take it to the next level, you can give me a crunch where those knees come in. Give me one or two crunches. Try not to round the shoulders as you do it. And then drop back down. Are. And then if you really want to nice. challenge yourself, you give yourself a push-up at the crunch and have at it like so. <laughs> I think, uh, I mean, just the, the modification on the progression that we just included with these three step-ups. Um, I mean, you can really see how this highlights any fitness level, any body uh, that, that has this, uh, suspension trainer accessible to them. <laughs> well, you know what? I want to show you one more thing. So we started on, so that, that's obviously toes in really high level. You want to make sure somebody has the core strength and stability to be able to handle that. But from that position, I want you to, so we're mid cap over here. Oh, this one's probably a better example. I want you to stand up and fully shorten your – or fully lengthen your straps. Okay. So that's where the, the barrels come all the way down. Right. And so easy to adjust. I mean, <laughs> I, I matter of seconds. Guys, I did in, not plan to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, I, I just right here. I mean, we're, we're already into another movement and within seconds. So we, 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 we just went through the ground based plank and now imagine someone who doesn't feel comfortable or doesn't feel safe getting up and down off the ground to be able to put their feet into the suspension trainer, right? They have the option. Mm -hmm. So join me. This is our, this is our, our, this would be our standing plank position, correct? Correct. And then now all we're doing is walking back, walking back. Again, building up that strength, building up that confidence, mm -hmm. walking back, walking back. Now, if you look, right, and I'm holding a plank underneath the anchor point, mm -hmm. I'm shaking. You can probably hear it in my voice a little mm -hmm. bit. And the challenge between that and just doing a plank with your hands on the ground is the ground's not going anywhere. Those handles, you've got to fight that instability. And, you know, some of the research that's been done, because there is a lot of research that has been put out on the suspension trainer, is when you're, you, there's such a high amount of core engagement, when you have your hands on the suspension trainer and feet on the ground, so doing something like a chest press, super high engagement as opposed to something like a dumbbell press. Again, dumbbell press, I love it. I'm not going to not do it. But for folks that are also looking for that that same strength gain, core engagement, that TRX chest, that TRX plank with your hands in the suspension trainer, really high amounts of core engagement on that. And then we love to just challenge you. Like as soon as you start walking back, you start to feel a little bit of a shake. You feel, we call that the tremor of truth. And so um, always trying to challenge you for your better when, when, you're, when you're on the suspension trainer. TRX never short of great sayings over here, <laughs> and they're, they are all accurate. The 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 tremor here. Um, again, we we've we've done our planks, whether it's low plank, whether it's high plank, whether we're modifying and progressing a plank like variation. This was the first time that I've sit back, I've sat, you know, walked my way back into that high plank like modification from TRX in, in the trainer, and you're able to feel your 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 core at your just a, t a full body activation right you're firing on all cylinders from your head all the way down to your toes your arms are are, are speaking to your core isn't engaged your your glutes are trying to stabilize your quads and just being able to to, to walk back to your fitness level again shows the benefit uh, of of just the benefits of what trx and the suspension trainer has to offer whenever you're utilizing it as a as a tool so I, I mean, Miguel, uh, with, with the trainer, um, again, we've, our customers that are viewing shopmyexchange.com, there's a link right here within our post that you're able to have a quick click through access to our uh, TRX suspension trainers that we offer online and in store, right? We do available, uh, we do have TRX suspension trainers available in store as well as online. Again, I have a few products behind me with the strong system from TRX. Also, it's it's nice to note the tactical gym. Uh, let me pull this up here. The tactical version as well from TRX. If you can see um, the just the, the the variation behind this on the tactical version, uh, the color variation, the color difference, as well as a few uh, different options in here uh, for your tactical setup. Again. Um, so I'm, I'm I can sure talk to what, the tactical what? really quickly. I know I know we've done a lot Absolutely. of work with the military folks, and um, I just finished a I just finished a course with some first responders, and the tactical unit was what they got. Is because ideally, when folks are deployed or folks are not at their home gym, they're probably training in uniform, right? And so you'll notice the the foot cradles are larger than the average foot cradles that we have on our suspension trainer. The barrels are a little more heavy duty just to withstand you know, the conditions that everyone's in. And then when we think about the, the program that goes along with that, in addition to the training club, you've got the tactical training program that is specific. We put this program together specifically for you, the military first responder uh, person who, you know, just wants this program. And I mean, this goes from zero to 100 really quickly, but the, the challenges are so great. And I know so many coaches and, and just peers of mine that, 
use this today. I know one of my good friends, Doug Lee, whenever he's training for an Ironman, he pulls out the, the tactical training program and that's his strength training program in addition to the running, the cycling and the swimming to get him prepared for the next Ironman that he's getting after. So shout out to Doug. <laughs> Thank you so much, Doug. And absolutely, again, uh, a, a few different products that we offer and that TRX offers uh, available online, uh, shopmyexchange.com. And we have a link available to you on this Facebook Live post. So many great benefits that the TRX has to offer. Um, any additional comments that from on your end uh, that you would like to include with, with today's recap of, of our uh, suspension trainer? Where to begin, right? I think for anyone who has the, you know, who is new to training with the TRX suspension trainer, the first thing you wanna do is, is take your time with it, right? Like get to know the exercises. The reason we spent today's uh, chat just going through the setup and how to adjust and how to make different modifications is so that if you do take one of our classes on the TRX training club, you're already that much better at starting your first workout. Because I promise you, as someone who's been coaching TRX for the last 10 years, when you walk into a class for the first time, the hardest part of the day is remembering, how do I get this strap to go from here Arr! all the way up to the top? And so it starts with the basics. And another thing we talk about is how do we do simple better? So take your time to understand the product. And then over time, think about how you can challenge yourself over time. It's not just about going for the hardest exercise. It's not just about doing the hardest positions and things like that. We want to work our way up. And just like with anything, you want to take it in bits and pieces and you want to make sure that you're enjoying the process. I think that's another really important thing to think about. And so when you get your suspension trainer and have access to the trx training club again find the best coach for you there's so many options on there for you to find the best coach you'll find me on demand so make sure you check out some of the cool programs that i have on there uh, my good buddy zach van wagner and i we've got an awesome start program there's a yoga program so if you're interested in something like that we've also got our folks in the uk that are focusing on on sweat classes and strength classes that are just so much fun and so when if you came today and you were looking for a little bit more of a sweat I, we apologize for that but i promise you that there is no shortage of that once you check out the trx training club and get into those classes on there the on demand the the acft challenge if you want to go for that see what that's like uh or just absolutely. you know checking out one of the live classes absolutely well thank you yeah again great summarization again this was this was such an educational piece for our viewers to really understand how the trx can help you move in different planes of motion and, and really touch on your full body um, movements full muscle group activation so um the educational piece of what trx has to offer and all of the benefits behind this specific product was just um our our initial goal for today but be on the lookout for uh, a, a trx suspension training live workout coming soon um, I think there's, there's again, so much benefit behind our system here. And it's it just, it, it's, there's, there's so much that we can really uh, help to utilize and, and work it within our workout routines. So um, BFIT Nation, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, BFIT TRX live uh, program, a special edition, if you will. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Again, leave us a note in the comments below. Uh, what were your favorite uh, benefits, your takeaways? Um, and let us know when you uh, get your TRX system, right? When you put it to use and when you take advantage of all the benefits that we spoke with Miguel today about. So um, with, with that, Miguel, I mean, I, I think you've uh, really uh, highlighted everything so uh, importantly. And um, thank you again to my, to my team and to uh, BFIT Nation out there uh, with the Exchange BFIT program. Um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, thanks for joining today's chat. Uh, if nothing else, Miguel, uh, we will say cheers and uh, myself, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes, again, Miguel Vargas on the other side here with TRX Coach Training, uh, signing out here. Thanks so much, guys. Take care and happy holidays.